jump into the topic i have to introduce myself formally i am dr bhanupriya and i am practicing as a palliative physician at kandesh cancer center i am associate professor at acpm medical college and after completing uh, my post graduation my md i have joined the institute and i am regularly involved in the teaching and training practices i have 10 years of um, experience and i'm currently serving as a professor emeritus for nba family medicine global infectious diseases and public health focuses on the study prevention and control of infectious diseases that affect populations worldwide it emphasizes protecting communities through research healthcare policies and global collaboration so whenever we talk about the infectious agent we we are talking in terms of agent which can cause infections which can lead to two outcomes okay uh, stay first natural history as preclinical preclinical then clinical and then there will be outcome as a disease or death global health challenges and emerging infectious diseases highlight the threats posed by new and re-emerging infections worldwide They stress the need for rapid response, innovation and international cooperation to safeguard public health. So whenever I talk about the global health challenges and infectious diseases, we are utilizing uh, an approach which is called as one health approach. And one health approach is something which we needs further discussion. So what is exactly this approach is so we have understanding that there are diseases which requires continuous monitoring okay continuous scrutiny of all the factors is called as surveillance okay so continuous scrutiny of all the factor is called as surveillance epidemiology and infectious disease control is the study of how diseases spread their causes and patterns in populations along with strategies to prevent and control them it focuses on surveillance outbreak management and public health interventions to reduce disease impact now how we can study now second part of the session is epidemiological study design and outbreak investigation we have developed an understanding then there whenever there is an excess of cases then it is called as outbreak so this outbreak need to be studied and this outbreak need to be first confirmed is it really an outbreak it is a just endemicity or just a sporadic nature of a disease we have to identify them so we need to carry out uh, investigations okay so in, it is called as investigation of outbreak or outbreak investigation and we can carry out using uh, uh, flow charts given by the idsp or we can simply go into the epidemiological study designs where number of cases which are reported you create a cohort of it follow it find out the determinants of diseases find out the natural history what will be the outcome that will be cohort study a group of people showing similar characteristics is called as cohort like this demo class join mga today and enroll now choose from 150 plus fellowship courses designed to boost your medical career